Recently at the Bournemouth store, I had quite a lot of you say that my luck lately hasn't been that great in terms of trade-ups. One of you mentioned how I only got a Kovar Octane in the last episode, and you are correct. So today, I'm here to rectify that. If you didn't get a chance to meet me at the Bournemouth event at CEX, then you do have another chance, because on the 8th of September and the 9th of September, I will be at Insomnia in Birmingham. I believe it's Insomnia 71. I'll be there with Team Endpoint, so if you want to come and meet me, then head over to insomnia in birmingham as well as meeting me there's a bunch of other stuff to do as well obviously the bournemouth event it was just for me so everyone that came i mean you're all absolute legends but here you can go to an entire event and if you've got one minute spare you can come by and say hello to me as well so i can't wait to see you there let me know in the comments if you'll be there and let's get in and do some trade-ups and improve the luck yeah honestly i don't know what's happened to my very rare drop trade-up luck even with the uh, i i still call it the free to play nerf even though it's just how trade-ups are and it's how trade-ups have now been for three years because at the, I mean, I think we're now at the exact point where the trade-ups have been in the game for the same amount of time, if that makes sense. So the pre-free-to-play luck, where you got loads of painted octanes and, in fact, only painted items, was from August 2017 to September 2020. So three years and a month. We're now coming up to three years on the free-to-play luck. So I suppose next month, it will be will have had this jank luck for more time than we ever had the good luck that I was talking about. I still get comments on my old videos, whether it be very rare to import or even better, the best videos of all time. I know exotic to black market trade-ups now are exciting, but the best of the best, if you haven't seen them, go back and watch them. Import to exotic trade-ups because they're not like they are now where you get a guaranteed non-painted exotic wheel. No, no, no. They, you get a guaranteed painted exotic wheel and the series and things you get were different. You'd be getting Falachis, you'd be getting Dicies, OEMs, Tunicas, Sunburst. Every single cool, uncommon, very rare wheel that you can think of in the game now, usually painted black, that's what you're going for. That is what you would get in the pool of items before September 2020. So I don't know why, to be honest, in the biggest update Rocket League has ever had, uh, an update that drew many many millions of people to the game why they made trade up so terrible in all honesty i was quite enjoying getting five or six painted octanes an episode i got to a point where i was getting two titanium white octanes an episode right before september 2020 i remember one of my first like viral videos from the free to play update was right before the update where i went on a viewer's account it actually started the fan trade ups and opening series that we still do to this day obviously now it's focused on tournaments because the luck there's still all right as opposed to trade ups but i went on a viewer's account traded up some very rares and got them a titanium white octane and that video got over a million views and that was kind of like one of the catalysts in my sort of free to play videos that just went crazy crazy viral but now it's no longer like now we have jank luck compared to how it used to be this is just how it is now. But now that we finally, it's been long enough to just accept that this is what it is, it feels like for me personally, it's got worse. I still do pick a clip and I still see people getting white octanes, black standards from just one dang trade up. And I'm out here getting literally, I'm, I set the bar very low for these videos. I say, give me one Fennec, one octane and one standard. Obviously the octane and the standard, even with these trade ups still have to be painted. And that's all I do. The last couple of episodes, I don't think I've met that criteria. I think one episode, I missed out on a standard. And then the other episode, I didn't get a single octane. How exactly am I supposed to get something sick if I only get one chance at a white octane per video tops and there's like over 10 colors you can get? That means I've got to do, let's say by that logic, let's say 12 episodes. If I did one episode a month, which I'm not lately because of the sponsor of the channel, I would get one white octane a year. So thank you to the sponsors, by the way, for making this possible and allowing me to do bigger videos like this. So um, without them, it actually wouldn't be possible. So I am going to play the sponsored intro in case you want to check it out. And we'll get back in and continue these trade-ups. This video is brought to you and sponsored by Logger.com. Go and buy your items. That's me, by the way, the uh, salesman in the photo. <laughs> All you got to do is put the items you want in your cart, tell them your account, and they'll add you to trade with. And make sure you use code PIXEL at checkout for 6% off your purchase. So be sure to click the link below and check it out today. Come on, just one standard, one octane. That's all we need. That's all. Maybe I need to add a, like a Rocket League bingo to these episodes where I go for like a hero wheel or something like that. Just to give me something to be excited about that isn't just the octane or the standard. Because like I said, even if I do get an octane or a standard... There's the hero wheel. <laughs> Even if I get the octane or the standard, chances are it's going to be like an orange one or a forest green or cobalt burnt sienna. Obviously, every color is just as rare as the next. But when you're only going for one, it's obviously much more likely you get a color that's not that one uh, compared to all the other colors. It's like I was talking to someone about the lottery the other day, and I was trying to explain to them how it is just as likely to get 
the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six in a six number lottery as it is any random combination. And a lot of people don't seem to understand that. Like, well, obviously it's not gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's like, I can see why humans rationalize it that way, but the combinations one, two, three, four, five, six is just as unlikely as any other random combination. It's just that the combination, because it's in numerical order, doesn't feel as random. But it is literally just as unlikely and random. It, it is. And it, it is almost hard to wrap your head around. I just think because obviously the odds are, it's so much more likely that it's not going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We forget that it's just as unlikely for it to not be any random six number combination. So I, I, can't, I can't wait. I mean, to be fair, when the day comes that... Oh, Sky Blue Octane. Maybe this weekend they need to get a lottery ticket for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is a dub because that is a good color. That is... That's top four at the very least. We've got white one, crimson two, and then it's sky blue purple. I think sky blue might have snuck up in the third spot. I'm not entirely sure. Lime as well was pretty good. Shout out to Musty. But it's top five at the very, very least, which is a better half. That's good. That is a that is good. That's a huge win. Although, like I said, I do know there's the Fennec. Now we just need the standard and we are rolling. We're working with house money. But I do know if the odds, if the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six did come up, I think a lot more people would win that day than most other days because some people probably just would do it as a joke but there's the orange there's the orange i was telling you about i mean tell me orange standard isn't just regular standard but we are not even half the way through and i've met the minimum requirements that i have failed to meet in the past two episodes we've already got the fennec we've already got the standard and when we needed a better color it was saved for the octane there's another hero wheel shout out to all the hero wheels that we get so that's a win that is a win we got the bubbles boost what else do we have? The twins are... Can we get a painted Roadhog? Oh, imagine. That's, that, that's what I need to do. I think I need to make a Rocket League bingo. And then if I get... I don't know. Here's the thing, because I want to say... Let's say, for example, I say, if I get every item on the bingo list, you guys win a prize. That makes sense, because then you're rooting for me to get the items. But then would it not be a bit weird if I'm excited to get a bingo, if it means I have to do a forfeit? But then again, I'm the type of person that enjoys giving away items so much that I could see myself rooting for me to essentially become more poor in this game. Like, because I, I'm i not trying to have the biggest, the best inventory. Like, you guys don't know. A lot of people look at my inventory and think I must have the most valuable inventory in the game. I can tell you, I don't even have a fraction of the most valuable inventory in the game. Granted, it is largely down to the fact that I have pretty much given away everything I've ever got that is worth anything. But you also don't understand the extent to which some people have been trading here and there behind the scenes, building up items, actually grinding the game at trading. Like all the hours I put in at getting good at the game, these people have genuinely done that with trading. And they've got items and inventories worth thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that is the way to start the Black Standard. I'm cheering like Tom from Tom and Jerry. That is a dub. That is a massive dub. If I, oh, I say it. That's the thing, though. It's always you want more. And then I was about to say, if only we could then get a titanium white octane. But hey, stranger things have happened. This is already a dub. It's been the best very rare drop trade-up video, arguably, of season 11. I don't recall getting a titanium white octane this season, even though the season has been hella long. Speaking of season, I always update you, you know, when this comes to pass. But the cricket season is over, unfortunately. However... At the time of recording today, in about five hours or so, I'm actually meeting up with someone who I went to school with. They're in the year below me, Saffron Gold Octane. That's a dub. Two standards, two octanes. Give me another Fennec. Give me a white octane as well. You love to see it. That's a good color too. Uh, but someone who was in the year below me at school, uh, they play cricket just like me. And uh, they also, I bumped into them on the way to the gym a few months ago. And he, we had a chat. And we spoke about YouTube and stuff. And he expressed his interest in wanting to make cricket videos. And I thought, bro, just go for it. You know, I've given him uh, uh, barely any advice at all. But I've given him a few pointers based on what I know. Yes. Yes. He's done it again. My window's open. Everyone on the damn street can hear me. But I don't care. The season 11 buff. I said I was coming today with a plan. I was coming today to, I can't remember who, which one of you it was that said my luck was terrible and how I got barely anything. I came back today with a vengeance. This is quite possibly, I've never had two white octanes in a post free to play trade up video, but this is definitely the best. White octane, sky blue octane, saffron octane, black standard. Black standard, white octane combo. I think I've done that once in the last three years, now twice, but we've had an orange standard, a sky blue octane and a saffron slash gold octane on top of it. That's unreal. I've actually done it. I could take a break from this series. I want to leave it on the screen. I've done it. I'm going to equip it. This is the day I, I leave the Fennec. Low key, actually. 
Let's equip the car we got. That is unbelievable. It's not the score at Octane that I gave away in blind training because unfortunately for some reason in these traits you can't even get painted certified Octanes anymore. So that is the best trade up you can get. That is absolutely phenomenal. But let me keep talking about what I was talking about because it clearly brought the good luck. But uh, my friend, he's called Tom. Um, he makes cricket videos and I'm going today to film a cricket video with him. Now, I've had a lot of people over the years ask me, why don't you make videos about cricket? And the reason I sort of don't is because I love YouTube. I, I wasn't a Rocket League player that found YouTube. I was a YouTuber that found Rocket League. So because my core passion is YouTube and video making, I have this sort of win-lose habit of making every single thing I'm interested in into a YouTube channel or into a series. So like, for example, my enjoyment and love of football that sort of got reignited with the 2018 World Cup. I made a football channel. I've been uploading on it for five years. It's called The Full 90. I think it's linked in the description of all my videos. Um, I even made football videos on YouTube 10 plus years ago on a series called The Couch, where I spoke about different football games with my brother who had no interest, but he just wanted to be in the videos anyway. Um, so I... I have this thing where because I love making YouTube videos, every time I get an interest or a hobby, I think, oh my goodness, I can make a YouTube video on it. I got really into playing chess and I uploaded a chess video. You know, I, I always do what I enjoy. I've always said that. But that meant as far as cricket was concerned, I was like, as amazing as it would be to... Oh my goodness. This is the best video ever. This is the best video ever. Not the double black standard. I'm equipping it. Not the double black standard. Uh, that's the first time I've got, I think, two black standards since free to play as well in one video, along with a white octane. I, I'm, I'm baffled. I'm absolutely baffled. I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna keep talking about cricket because that's what I do in these videos, and it works. We're getting good luck. Um, but basically, I didn't want to make every single aspect of my life a video, and I do use cricket during the summer to escape from sort of everyday life. And I love, I love Saturdays. I love unplugging from the internet. I, when I play cricket, I'm one of the most in the moment people ever. I'm in the field. I'm assessing the situation. I I rarely, rarely check my phone, even if I'm not batting and we're batting. And I'm just watching. I'm just involved. I'm in the moment. Obviously, the scenery is always great when we play cricket. Most grounds are so beautiful that we play at. So I absolutely love it. However, as a one off thing for Tom's channel, we're going to film a cricket video. And I, I must admit, I'm excited to see what he comes up with. And I'm always intrigued. I always love being in videos where I actually don't have to edit them. For example... It's a double fennec. You love to see it. Um, for when I went to when I went to Dallas for Worlds and I made the vlog, and overnight after I uploaded the footage, Team Endpoint, the editors edited it for the next day to be uploaded. I love watching videos that I'm in that I don't have to slave away in the editing booth with. And this will be one of those times. And I mean, there is, if you guys care, I do. There was one game I played last year because a lot of the high, like the super high leagues, have live streamed matches. We're I think we're one league below. We're in Division One. We're one league below where all the games are like recorded and stuff. But this one game we played, one of the teams just happened to have the setup and it recorded one of my uh, one of my 50s of the year. There's no sound. So if you want to skip this part of the video, then go for it. But whilst I when I get to the end and I trade up these two imports, that's mental. That's mental. I will play you. It's like a minute long. There's no sound, but I will play you the highlights of my innings you can see the scorecards so you know what's happening on every ball if you're not interested in cricket you can have a watch but yeah i'll play you my innings of one of the 50s i got last year and uh you can see what oh my goodness the crown did uh you can see what i'm about this has been the luckiest episode ever i've had three phoenix four standards and three octanes two black standards and a white octane it's absolutely phenomenal so with that i'll trade up these i'm sure there'll be nothing because we've had enough luck to last me for months so i'll play you why not i'll do it if i can if the file type works i will play you the innings and you can sort of see what i'm about as far as cricket is concerned and uh yeah when i do well when tom does finish the video that we make today i will let you know in a video that you, where you can go to watch that and it should be sick so here's the highlights of that so this is my first ball of the innings i'm shaping to play on the leg side as i thought the ball was swinging into me but as you can see by my hand gesture it's actually swinging away so my partner told me that and it was uh it was not swinging into me this is another boundary same over to the covers things you absolutely love to see now this one <laughs> i'm not great off my legs i'll be honest it always looks a little bit suspicious but a nice little flick off this the legs i believe the next one yeah because it was such a big six they zoomed out the camera but it means you can't really see what's going on you just see the ball flash by there over everybody it's out the ground you love to see it. And here we have the uh, opener from the other end. And as you can see, 
The covers and straight down the ground is my forte. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, feel free to just uh, watch and enjoy. As you can see at the bottom there, I'm already on 27 now after this four. Another one just back with a point, I believe. But again, if you don't know <laughs> what that is, then it is what it is. This one, I think, you know what? Charge the bowler, put him off his length, up and over the top. A uh, few bounces, four runs. As you can see, I'm not too pleased with myself because I didn't really middle it. But we do get one, I think, in a, in a moment. And then this is the one. Come down again and hit it for six, this time into the trees. And then I think uh, this next one is the shot that brings up the 50 runs. The bowler's not happy with it. And you can see me raise my bat at the end um, of the run. I mean, just look at him. He's, he's not happy. So there's my commentary. Bats in the air. And that was my 50 that I've got on record. The irony is not lost on me. I hope you did enjoy that, by the way. But as I'm trading these up, I realized in the last few episodes, I always started by saying, you know what? I've got a funny feeling today that I'm going to get something sick, like a white octane. And then I never do. Today, I made no mention of getting a white octane. I actually just spoke about how bad my luck's been. And then bang. Maybe Rocket League sensed that I was going to sort of quit my trade ups. And they're like, no, no, no. Let's give him just a good video. That little sliver of hope. But we, I mean, without certifications, you know, striker and stuff like that. You cannot get better than what I've got. Black Standard is the best and White Octane is the best. The only way you can beat that is getting it twice. And like I said, that's something that's never been done since free to play. So it's probably never going to be done. I mean, it might, but you know what I mean? So I've basically completed it. Okay, so I've got eight exotic to black market trade ups completed with a few exotics at the end that I got in a recent crate opening. If you didn't watch that. So one of these could be a painted black market, but we'll save that to the end. We're kicking it off with a biomass. Next up. I mean, if I get a Dueling Dragons or a Dissolver, I mean, uh, to be honest, they're so worth little. Like, they're worth so little these days that not getting them is not going to be like this isn't the best video ever. Because you saw what we got already. But if we could just put the cherry on top with something like that, one of the big five, that would, of course, be insane. But again, I won't be put out if we don't. In fact, I'll take the wet paint. So here we go. It's a double wet paint. And now we have the trade-ups where we could get something super sick. It's going to be you. So we keep the white infiniums. We have two drop exotics. Then three exotics I got from the crate opening that I don't want. So here we go. Fire God. It ends with one of the big five. I am 99% sure. I can't promise because obviously I could I could literally get 200 white octanes in a row. It is possible, right? Okay, whatever. But I'm 99% sure I won't be beating that. That's the best trade-up video I've done in the past three years and it's amazing and that's why i still love doing it a lot of people say why do you still like doing trade-ups opening crates even though i've been doing trade-ups for years and years and years today on this day in 2023 near season 12 we have got the best trade-up session that i've had since the free-to-play update and that is why i do it so if you did enjoy this video please do drop a like subscribe down below to join the pixel army i've been pixel you've been awesome and i'll see you in the next video very soon Flying in a missile, haters throwing shade, never pick me, not an issue. I am a beast, I'm at the top, I run these beats, I hold my spot, so stop before it hits you. It's bigger, bigger.